Hello and welcome to another edition of the XCAPI video tutorials with interesting and useful topics around our successful middleware. Rubber logging of calls and fax transmissions via the XCAPI trace is the basis for a rapid analysis of undesirable events in interaction with your voice over IP infrastructure. In this edition we show various options which are available for the protocols. Sometimes it can happen that the XCAPI does not work optimally. The most common symptoms include stuttering or delayed speech reproduction or incomplete and unreadable fax transmissions. In these cases, we recommend to create an XCAPI trace. This is a log file in which all processes are recorded within the XCAPI. The following data is logged in the trace. Different parameters of the XCAPI configuration, license information, incoming and outgoing calls, data before and after calls, summary of active calls, as well as all data that is transmitted between the XCAPI and the VoIP terminal. A trace can be very helpful if there are frequent undesired incidents. Based on the recorded log file, conclusions can be drawn whether the symptoms have been caused by certain settings. It is particularly important to start the trace at the right time. The initiation of the trace should always be started before the actions that lead to the incident. In a few cases, a Windows restart is recommended after the trace has been started. You can initiate self-optimation measures or send the trace to our technical support. In addition, our technical support will respond easier and faster to customer inquiries with these protocols. In the XCAPI configuration, you can start collecting the diagnostic information in the default view with a single click. The trace file is then automatically stored as a text file under that pass. If you do not have permission to write on C, you can specify the pass by yourself in the following experts view. Change the selection from Trace Disabled to Trace into File. Now you can choose a file name and pass for the trace file. Existing same file names will be overwritten when starting a new trace. In case of accidental overwriting, there is a one-time backup in a back file. Through the Apply button, the recording of the trace is finally activated. It may happen that the XCAPI occasionally does not work. To find the cause, we recommend a record a trace over a longer period of time. First, several traces should be sequentially activated with a defined maximum file size, so that the trace file does not become too large over this long period. These are then provided with a consecutive number. If the specified maximum number of trace files is reached, the overwriting of trace files including the one-time backup begins. The size of a trace file depends on the quantity of calls and the period of time. For example, for a soft fax transmission with default resolution of two pages and without restrictions, you can expect a data volume of about 5 MB. Very large trace files are confusing and only up to 1 GB readable. The better the incident is encircled, the easier it is for the analysis. Principally, most of the trace recording conditions should only be changed after consultation with the technical support, as these are dependent on the application. In special cases with a lot of voice data, such as in a call center, it might be worth not to record them. This is the case when calls are terminated undesirable and the audio data of the talk is not important for the analysis. This is how you switch off the recording of the audio data. Expand the folder KP and deactivate the last both points. Additionally, the audio data is automatically located with the RTP data. Expand the RTP folder and deactivate the delivered audio data, received audio data and transmitted audio data. Save your changes. Due to these measures, the file size of the trace is much smaller and the analysis is much easier. This procedure is also useful for analysis of pure fax calls. If you get stuck with the analysis of the trace file, please contact our technical support. 
You can send trace files up to 50 megabytes to our technical support by email. For larger files, please request to use our FTP server. In order to help you more quickly, we need source number, destination number, date, time and a description of the undesired incident as well as information on your PBX, manufacturer, release number and software version. Often our support team will have already a suitable solution for your PBX based on their experience and your precise information. You can stop the trace recording at any time. In the standard view, click on Stop the Trace. In the Experts view, change the selection from Trace into File to Trace Disabled. A following click on Apply disables the trace recording. A trace analysis can only be started when the trace recording has finished. In our video, Analyze a Trace, you will receive useful information for a diagnosis by yourself. At the end of this video, we would like to give you an example of the proper procedure when creating a trace for a softfax transmission. Start the trace log in the default view of the XCAPI configuration. Use the supplied program XTest to send a fax. Send a test fax with the function fax. Enter the destination number and select Simple Low for resolution. Start the transmission with Send Fax. Please wait for the entire fax transmission to be completed. First stop the trace recording in the XCAPI configuration. Now you can analyze the trace by yourself or send it to our technical support.